Hi everyone! I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a basic bodice pattern using your own body measurements. I feel like a lot of people are kind of scared of pattern making, but I promise you it's really not that complicated. And I'm gonna go through the process really slowly to make sure everyone can follow along. First, I'll show you how to take your body measurements properly, and then I'll show you how to draft the front and the back body pieces with darts in them. Now, I already have a video on how to make leggings from start to finish, including pattern making, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that there are actually multiple ways of doing this, it's just that out of the methods that I've tried, this one is my favorite and has been working for me really well for the past few years. So if this video ends up being helpful to you at all, please don't forget to click on the like button or leave a comment down below because for small channels like mine, this actually makes a really big difference. And if you guys want me to show you how I make my basic sleeve pattern or shorts and skirts pattern, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to make a video about it as well. Now let's get to it. First, we need to take your measurements. You will need to measure around your neck like this. This will be the neck circumference. You will need to measure around your bust. This will be your bust circumference. Make sure you're wearing the same bra style you'll plan on using later on because bras will change the shape of your bust. Now measure your waist circumference and the width of your back. You might need the help of someone else to get this measurement for you. And the total length of the top, which is measured from your shoulders to your waist. When drafting the pattern, we will draw half of the front and half of the back, so we won't use the entire circumference measurements we got. To get the numbers we need, pick up a calculator and calculate it along with me. Divide the bust and the waist by 4 and add 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch to the final number for seam allowance. Divide the neck measurement by 6 and add 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch. Divide the back by 2 and add 1 cm for seam allowance. For the total length, you don't need to alter anything. For the armhole height, divide the total length of the bodice by 3 and add 6 cm. When I say the names of those measurements from now on, I will mean the ones we already calculated. Now we're ready to draft the pattern. Start by drawing a straight line with the same number as the total bodice length we got. Then, from B to A, mark the armhole height we calculated. Now draw a line to the right on all those three points. If you don't have a ruler with a 90 degree angle, you can use a notebook to aid you. Now mark the back measurement we got on point A and on point C and connect the dots. Now mark the bust on point C and the waist on point B and connect the dots. Now mark the neck measurement to the side and down and make a square to guide you when drawing the neckline circle. Now lower 3 cm here for the shoulder drop and connect to the neckline. And lower 4 cm here and draw the bust line. We will add the darts now. Mark the middle of the waist and use the ruler or notebook to draw a line up until the bust line. I'm using 2 cm as my bust dart, but I have a really small cup. If you have bigger boobs, you can use a bigger number, like 3 or 4 cm. You need to mark half of this bust dart measurement on each side and connect to the top on a triangle shape. And then add the total measurement of the dart on the side and redraw the line. Now mark the middle of the shoulders and to the right 
mark 4 cm. Connect those two points down to the center of the bust line. Now fold the shoulder dart as I'm showing in the video and measure the total length of the shoulders before and redraw the shoulder line with the same measurement as before. Now we will draw the armhole. If you don't have a ruler like this, it's not a problem. I made a PDF version of it. You can download it for free on my website, the link is in the description down below. So you just have to print it and use it as a guide when you're drawing. Now I just have to cut. When cutting the shoulder line, make sure to cut it while the dart is closed. And your front bodice pattern is ready. Now for the back, you start with the same base as the front. Mark the neck measurement to the right. Drop 3 cm at the shoulder and connect the lines. Now use the ruler or a notebook to draw a line up with a 90 degree angle. And mark 2 cm on each side. Connect the lines. Now draw a curved line as I'm showing in the video. Lower 4 cm again like we did in the front and mark half of the waist. Draw a line up with the help of a ruler or a book and connect to the line. Now add the back darts, 1 cm to each side and connect to the top with the triangle shape. Now add the 2 cm of the darts to the side of the waist and redraw the line. Now use the ruler to draw the armhole with a curved line and cut the pattern. I will now transfer it to a thicker piece of paper so it lasts longer. And you're done! So this is it for today's video. I really hope you guys liked it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe! I post new videos every Friday and hopefully I'll see you guys next week as well. Bye.